You know, when you have children, you know, a lot of the things you did as a child come back at you. I've got three sons. When they were quite young, there was one night where I woke up in the middle of the night. Two of my boys are talking to each other in their sleep. And the other one was peeing on them. <laughs> and there, there are just times where you just, just shut the door and let them work it out. I have to say I was so excited though, I mean, uh, I have loved every second of being a dad, but I was so excited. I remember I couldn't wait for our very fair, first parent-teacher conference for Eric. Just a brilliant child at home. I just, I just couldn't wait for the teacher to tell me he was a genius. I'm not just saying this, he was brilliant. I'm not making this up. In our home, on his own, he picked up English. <laughs> No teachers, nothing, just learned it. So I couldn't wait. I, that very first parent-teacher conference, sat down with the teacher, and the first thing she said was, Eric gets along really well with his schoolmates. That's the last nice thing she said. <laughs> then she said he has trouble staying on task, paying attention. The next thing I knew, she was poking me on the arm, Mr. Klett, Mr. Klett. <laughs> I said, I don't know where he gets that from. <laughs> but no, sometimes you get to see the, you know, how they look at a world and it's so innocent. My youngest son, Andy, I remember uh, I, I took him to Toys R Us. He had earned a toy. We were buying him a toy. He was eight years old. The toy he picked out said, recommended ages nine and over. We're in line to buy the toy. Just as we got up to the cashier, he tugs on my arm. I lean over and he just whispers, 